Okay, I am back. Had to refill my water bottle, get some clothes out of the dryer, and have a bit of time with the rats. I see them over at the cage looking at me right now. Ask them, like, that's it? Ten minutes? We just get ten minutes? Oh, such betrayal. Okay, so now we switch games to... Pokemon Legends Arceus. I don't really remember where we were there, but let's find out together. All right, back to Switch. Switch is getting a lot of action today. Sound on? Yeah, sounds on. And one of the rats has climbed up to the corner of the cage, which Probably means she's bored. Oh, well. Hey, Jonah, not too much, not too much. This is time for Bogeyman. Don't remember where I was in Arceus, but I remember I was enjoying it. It's probably re-familiarizing re myself with the, with the uh, controls. Yeah, I can... I can do sentences. Okay. Hmm. I talked to you not 10 minutes ago. Hey, a lot can happen in 10 minutes, man. I got my laundry out. I played with my pet rats. I refilled my water bottle. Got a bite to eat. A lot can happen in 10 minutes. Alright, so... L and R. Yeah, switches items. Right. X is for Pokemon. Okay. Alright. Apparently I have to talk to this guy. That's the crouch button. That's what that is. That's the dodge roll button. Okay. I'll fight you off. All oh, right, we have to fight this kid, I guess. Choose to avoid battle, but draw now while you still can, or face the wrath of my Gumi. Actually, yeah, why not? You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. Gumi! Yeah. Alright, I'll see you later, little buddy. That tree is going nuts. Bidoof can evolve. Might as well, I guess. How could this be? I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleaver now. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering. A nice heaped helping of his two favorite foods, served up with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. Is usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleaver's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not with the way Cleaver is rampaging and running amok. There's nothing that an outsider like you can do. The ancestors of Cleaver... Weir... Weirdier? Wordier? Weird ear. And their cohort drew an almighty drew on almighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike. So it said. It's by the grace that our clan, that any of us, still lives in vast Hisui today. Irita, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleaver's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? What? 
Cleaver means so much to our clan. I hoped we could bring the situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. It will lead to co conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy Team. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, can you Galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our Lord's frenzy? Yeah, I'll figure something out. Very well. Leanne and I will gather foods that please Cleavor, in hopes that we might be able to get close to him, enough to him to make a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of vast history. Oh, it's a remix of Eternal Force, I just realized that. Arkfoden, tell us where to go. Mr. Now it enables you to return to base camps in an instant. Nice. Let's look at the map on your to instantly travel. Cool. Head to a base camp. Any base camp. How do I bring up the world map again? Wait, there's a tree that was going crazy, wasn't it? Oh, it's gone? That's probably fine. Uh, what is the world map button? Plus, minus, minus. Where's he going? Okay. So I push X here? Oh, you just push X anywhere. Jesus Christ. Okay. Good to see you, Blacksmith. And how is your research into Cleaver going? Swimmingly, I expect? Oh, is that so? Now that's quite the tidbit. So serving of his favorite foods will normally make Cleaver quite agreeable. Is that it? I need to mull this over at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. Oh, I guess that's it for today. Borb. Oh, that's an upgrade. So according to the information you were able to learn from Irida and Leon of the Pearl Clan, were this, were this the normal course of events, that Frenzy Cleaver would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods. I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas of or some other comp components of these foods might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleaver, but draw him back from his frenzy? But by your own report, even Cleaver's warden, who looks after Cleaver and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm. Give me a moment, if you would. I need some time to ponder this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. Tick-tock, tick-tock. His hat is weird. Eureka! We'll simply have to throw the food! I, yeah, I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? You've quite the, throw, you've quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Blacksmith? Might I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Makes sense! Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved food into balls, then throw them to achieve the same calming effect. But from afar, it's so simple. A brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy projectiles... Well, how about tea time balls? Sure. Puts one mind... Puts one in mind of a nice, relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Why wouldn't you simply call them Lavington Balls, Professor? 
Oh my, with that name, I'd sound like I'm the one being launched at our frenzied friend. In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? Then you should get back to Grand Tree Arena and let the Pearl Clan know our plan. If you're off to Grand Tree, Grand Tree Arena, best set out from the Heights Camp, huh? Well, let me see if I can get that um, rank up first. Wait, this is just outside. Are you the one I have to ask? Our investigation for the commander will grind to, to a halt if you become a cap capacitated recru recruit. I can speak words. I should like to avoid that outcome. I imagine you would as well, since it would mean losing the food and shelter we provide for you. If you have progress to report, I will judge his worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Hmm. You've made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a star. Two stars! With this, you've officially attained the rank of second star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. I can now use Feather Balls. For the recipes... Oh, mm -hmm, there it is. Oh, Super Potions. Let's just see if I can craft any of that shit right now. Where is the crafting bench? I actually don't remember. Oh wait, is this it? This is it. Kokeshido. Ball that flies fast and true, ideal for catching nimble Pokemon or Pokemon that fly high in the air. I don't have any Sky Tumble Stones. I can make one. Yay. Oh, revive, yeah. Make one of those. I have a bunch of Pokeballs still. All right, well, let's head back out. Oh, it's you. My, my, that Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters, so I'll give them that. Man, you really don't like Galaxy. Oh, yes, I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Where do you actually see what's going on, though? Let's head up. Let's head to... What did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp. <clears throat> I guess we're just going there directly? Oh, we're dear. I spoke to Weir about what's going, what's been going on. I told him how you've been trekking all over the field lands, seeking a way to, to quell Cleaver's frenzy. I can speak. All this from someone who's not even a part of our clan or the Pearl Clan, just some wanderer who fell through a rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he's responded. I trust you appreciate it. Weir has found you worthy, you see, which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for him, Mai? This is very important, so listen well. <laughs> That's the Celestica Flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call on Weirder so you can ride upon him. Ah. It said the Celestica Flutes were gifts from the Almighty Sinnoh itself, and now this one's yours. Sick, I got a mount. 
suppose most Pokemon that are willing to bury around the region, its timber is eerie and mysterious. It's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See if you can play that melody. Yep, perfect. I'm a savant. Weirdo opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. You were, oh, okay. That's, I was wondering what that, what that was. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the Psychic type. Yeah, I know who that is. Now, use that Celestica Flute wisely and gallop across the land with the Great Weirdear. you got a frenzy Pokemon to quell at Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With Weirdear, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. Yeah, let me see how fast Weirdear is. So look for wild Pokemon attacks and avoid falls from high places while you're riding about. Right. Yeah, that would probably suck. Oh, it's just instant. What is that, a request? The dash over a hill. Veil on the back of a Pokemon. Balloon race. I guess we can try. Just charge it to them. Items. Yeah. This seems like it's going to be really hard. Geo dudes. Oh, uh, that's the jump button. Yes, this is what I do with the Great Whittier. I got 24, that's really good. You're cool, I want Get some food, man! Get that food! Five folk walls, that's it. Yeah, request complete. Oh, 15 feather balls, nice. You live on the streets? Do Whoops. Do you now? Okay. Wait, this is the wrong camp. Wait. No. No, it's not the wrong camp. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like a cliff. Oh. oh god, that parasect. Nope, 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 nope. My dad drinks and hits me. I hope you're not joking about that. Sincerely. You're not joking? Oh, well then I am really sorry to hear that.
Pretty wild that you're telling me this. Oh, right. Wrong button. I'll get this right eventually. to find the right button for this. Oh, Jesus. Well, I do hope your situation gets better for you soon. It's beautiful. Oh, that's three. Be a good time for one of these. I do want to catch this thing, or at least try. Any parts of gold? Just use a Pokeball. Oh, bit oof. No survival instinct on this thing. Head empty. No thoughts. Oh. You're an alpha. I'm gonna fight you. Did it for the EXP, worked out perfectly. Oh. Catch of berries? No, half points. I don't know what I do with these spoiled ones. Hitting with one. Oh. Oh, you throw them at Pokemon. I wouldn't have figured that out. And side up.
Man, that is the problem with not playing these games for a while. You forget the controls completely. Psyduck, bro. Yeah, that Baneri sees me. Good. 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 How did that work? <laughs> you saw me. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're good. I don't want to fight you anyway. Oh, shit. What's up, Wurmple? At least you're not aggressive. Man, Boneri can see you from really far away. Side up, please. Ooh. All right, we can fight, man. You brought that upon yourself. Scyther. Alright, I don't think I can go this way. No! No! Yeah, okay, that means we're dying. Well, oh, well, you can go in the water, at least. Excuse me, I gotta take a look at those scythers that see me from really far away, unfortunately. <sighs> Might as well fight it. Not very effective, but still left the mark. Perfect. Oh god. Heal my poor looks Luxio here. Let's 
Scyther is really fast. Oh dear. Hmm? Okay, got wood. So you say that you got to people came up with a method to try to quell Laura Cleaver's frenzy. Yeah, we throw food at it. What? You mash up Cleaver's favorite foods into bowls so you can throw offerings at him? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Laura Cleaver from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold, hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I brought them. As promised. Plump beans. Ah, that's right. My apologies, Arita. I've forgotten all about you. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the Galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These Galaxy team people don't share our customs or our values. Oh god. So, prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs, but on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister, as one of my blood. If you can defeat Glaceon- oh, Glaceon, really? And me, I will entrust you with Cleaver's fate. Will you battle us? Yeah, hang on. I'm not surprised that this would be too much to ask of a stranger from the outside- from, a strange outsider from the sky. There we go. Yeah, re relax. Don't worry. You'll get your fight. I'm just not using my flying bird, flying grass bird against an ice type. That's how you get wrecked. I actually don't have many choices for Glaceon. I think Luxio is my only choice. Everyone else has a weakness to ice, besides the barrel, who I don't really want to use anyway. Okay. Then allow Glaceon's true strength to chill you to your depths. Golly, I wonder if ice types don't suck in this in this game. A lot of damage. But this will probably do more. Or not. Okay, we're good. Close, though. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners? Sure. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see to your Pokemon's wounds. Thank you. Now explain the team, the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? Well, we're going to take them, and we're going to chuck them. <laughs> so because you have to keep your distance, you'll match Cleaver's favorite foods together. Ball them up and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting. So you've developed soothing bombs of sorts to, cal to calm our lord. Very well. If it'll help soothe Cleaver's frenzy, let's make these bombs with our very hearts and souls. It's literally just, yeah, we're going to take the food and we're going to throw it. There, a veritable mountain of bombs. This should please Cleaver, if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Let's not be hasty. Are you serious? After everything we readied for this moment, you're simply going to back out? Outrageous. Like, fucking relax, man. Jeez. See, 
Steve. All right, now we can do it. I think Cleaver's like rock and flying or something. Oh, mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Though it isn't yet the time of the ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Blacksmith. Keep your focus on Cleaver. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Oh, is that how this is going to work? Yeah, it's a scyther, but it has axes for arms. <laughs> Definitely one of the better designs, in my opinion. To claim victory against a noble Pokemon and call its frenzy, you'll have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. With the Pokemon battle, the Noble's Guard will stay down for a brief time period. That window bones will be more effective than usual, so throw as many as you can. Ooh. Ah, Stealth Rock! Oh, but it doesn't work the same, I guess. Still looks like it sucks, though. really fucking bad. <laughs> it's like, really fucking bad for this battle. Uh. Now's your chance to throw bombs. How many hits I can take, but let's not find out. You seem faster. Oh, do I really want to send in a Pokemon to do battle? Alright. Good. Oh. Alright, that was good at least. Good job, Tony. No, I don't really want to send in Pokemon. I think we're good. Ow. Hmm. 
Mm, there he is. Got the insect plate. What is a rockin' bug? Yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> what happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Has Lord Cleaver's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? Maybe. Well, this is what I think after all we've seen. We know strange lightning came out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him into his frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift. But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond that space-time rift, then the strange lightning... It was indeed Almighty Sinnoh's power? Then were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokémon that might harm us. Would power sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver to turn on us and attack people and Pokémon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Blacksmith accomplished just now, it needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the, or the Galaxy team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Mm. Yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please, take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken really to you earlier, and a token of my thanks. Oh, citrus berries. Six HP up to mat, uh, half max HP. Nice. Let me care for your Pokemon as well. In, appreciative, in appreciation for fighting on our behalf. I think I've finally come to believe what that you truly did fall out of the sky. Though I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. And it seems we've settled things here. Though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. Yeah, Cleaver was kind of a badass. I hear so many noises. Come, goat. Oh, can I just not go up there? Oh, I can. Oh, it's Scythers. Okay, all right. Yeah, see you, see you later. Switch things out with. I want to throw at least one Baneria on my team. Let me check their moves, because maybe, maybe that has something to do with my struggle. Alright. Nope, those are all your moves, okay. Go 
those are all your moves. Yeah, you're good. Oh, Stun Spore. You can get rid of... Tackle. Baneeri, you do not have that many moves to begin with. Alright, let's talk to the prof. I see you've caught five Pokemon. Care to report your findings? Sure. Not many, to be honest. Probably should have caught more. Bidoof has an unsophisticated face. <laughs> and is really flustered by anything. There have been incidents involving Bidoof sauntering into villages and gnawing onto houses without a single care. That does sound like a very Bidoof thing to do. Oh, you again. I saw the light fading into the sky. He must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. Now what do you have there? Could it be? Ah, those are two of the fabled plates of old. Please, let me have a look. I see there are some letters carved into them. Let's see. This one says, Where all creation was born, that is the being's place of origin. It seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How did you come across these? Things gave them to me. I see. So you were given the plates when you impressed Witter and Cleaver. That is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across Hisui. If we were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. You are just like Cynthia. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. You're just like Cynthia. So we head upstairs, yeah. Way upstairs. Hmm. Well done. I've already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully clow <laughs> Jesus quelled Cleaver's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to Hisui's people. You are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky. Yet you have served the Galaxy Team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition. Things are not settled yet. I received word that there are other such Pokemon, f such Pokemon nobles, falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in Hisui. So carry on with your research and survey duties, and prove that you truly are an asset to us. That is all. You're dismissed. Your fellow Survey Corps members are likely at the Wallflower. Go and join them. Done. Benny, old chum. The usual order. Three servings of potato mochi, please. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. The whole village is gossiping up a storm about our young friend here, you know. He's got quite some luck to have come back unharmed after facing off against that cleaver. No, it, 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 he did hit me, though. I dare say Blacksmith was well prepared. And he was a quick study of how cleaver moved in battle from what I've heard. All in all, it was a very good show. A victory well earned. We can feel safer going out, going about our survey corpse duties now, thanks to your efforts. Oh, by the way, why not try crafting some of these? I made the recipe based on directions Benny gave me. 
Oh, smoke bombs. <laughs> Lovely. And now that we need not worry about being mauled by Cleaver either, let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon that call the Obsidian Field lands their home. Yeah, should probably, like, catch more. Blacksmus. I've been waiting for you, Blacksmus. My name's Vesa. There's something real important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? That's not sus. Um, this is kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. Hisui's in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate. So please, Blacksmith, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. Just tell me what to do. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you believe me. I just knew you'd be willing to help. Hmm. This odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. Odd keystone, huh? A mysterious wisp that can be used to collect wisps? A mysterious stone that can be used to collect wisps that glow with an eerie purple light. That thing's related to Spiritome. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across Hisui. 107 of them in total. Yeah, that's Spiritome. With the all keystone I gave them, I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. See, the wisps are normally invisible, but not to the holder of the odd keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? Oh yeah, there it is. See that flame hovering over there? Try touching it. Why do you have this, though? The keystone is... You need to touch the wisp! Oh. Got it. The wisp has just the wisp has been absorbed into the odd keystone, just as it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help with finding the remaining wisps. And one last thing, as you gather more and more wisps, I'll give you some rewards as thanks. I'll wait here for you while you carry out your search. Good luck. Yeah, I'll trust you. <laughs> Keystones are related... The all keystone is related to Spiritome, and Spiritome is, like, evil. That thing's an evil spirit. <laughs> wow, the Galaxy Team hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. Oh, hey, you're Blacksmith, the boy who quote Cleaver, aren't you? That's me. I knew it. You got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you called you called one of Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. I'm Arizu, by the way. You're related to Mars. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Oh, snip. But I came here, here to talk to you. To your Mr. Kamado. See you around. Do we follow her, I guess? Have you two always been here? Alright, so items you won't find at the general store. You have all the berries. Boost endurance and are one of the Mitchell. 
You do indeed have a lot of things. Hi there. We've got some great stock in at the moment. Here's all the goods I've got now. Anything catch your eye? Honey cake set? What is that? What the fuck is the honey cake set? are sleeping again. So cute. Hmm, so it's come to Ursaluna as well. This is just that even Pokemon that are not nobles can become frenzied. Oh, that's bad. I've received no word from, from Adam or Ereta. But this is not something we can simply ignore. In any case, you have my thanks, Mr. Rizu. You did well to inform us of Ursaluna's situation. No problem. Adamant's got his hands full running our clan and all, and Ursaluna's warden wouldn't even give me the time of day. So the galaxy team are the only ones that could turn to about this. Ursaluna's warden is Mistress Caliba of the Pearl Clan, is it not? Of all the wardens, she's the most narrow-minded. <clears throat> bound by tradition. <laughs> she likely does not take kindly to outsiders. Meddling in, meddling in her affairs. I have an admission for you, Blacksmiths. I order you to study Ursa Luna in the Crimson Marlins. I permit you to show your strength if necessary. Straightforward. The next area you the next area you will be sent to investigate is the Crimson Marlins. You will find the Pokemon living there to be more fearsome than those in the Obsidian Fields. Even the landscape itself is harsher, with steep ravines and seaside cliffs. It is not welcoming. At your current rank, you should be able to handle the Crimson Marlins on your own. I wonder if she would have said otherwise if I was still a one star. Here's what you need to know. Your destination is a place within the Marlands known as the Salacian Ruins. Ah. That is where you'll find Ursaluna's Warden. I kind of want to just go back to the Obsidian Lands and catch some more pogies, though. Well, that's the whole idea. Is, well, you gotta catch more pogies in the Pokemon game. All right, fuck it. I'll buy the set. Whoop, wrong one. Wait, actually, yeah, I'll take it. Ten honey cakes. A cake made by combining honey with a cake lure base. These are uh, attracting buckle one and also loads of fairy like charms. Oh, there's no room? Shit. Give me the great ball set, though. Wow, 20 great balls. Shit, is my satchel full already? Yeah, it is. Yes, sir, it is. A ball of mud. Oh, it's this kind of shit. Okay. I already know what that's all about. Rare candy, looking real different. EXP candy? We'll grant the Pokemon a small amount of EXP points? How small are we talking? Oh, it's not bad. Springy mushroom. They will gather wherever one is thrown. Interesting. It seems like there is a reason to hold all these things, so let me... Let me see if I can get some inventory expansions from the inventory expansion guy. Oh yeah, you're expensive, but oh well.
He's not wrong, but it's just I don't have room. Where is my storage? Probably in my room, I guess. Lord help me, I don't remember where that is. Oh, guess this is it. Move to satchel. Before we go. Oh, hello, Blacksmith. I was just getting the itch to battle with you, and now here you are. It must be a sign. You're right. Let's have a fine battle so I can grow closer with Pikachu. Okay, I might have to switch Bunny out. It may be an over its head. Oh, my junior. Agile style. Oh, so it's gonna be like that, eh? Okay, wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can do that as well. Nope. Effective. Your next turn. Alright, yeah. Just, just murder it. Yeah, a little leveling wouldn't hurt. Whoops, I keep finding myself caught up in observing the way the Pokemon use their moves. you may not be very happy with me after that. Thank, thank you for battling with me. Here, I have this new recipe. Stealth sprays. So I've been working on studying those strange space-time distortions. You know the ones I mean? They've been appearing here and there lately. It seems like they hold wonderful items, but frightfully strong Pokemon too. If you plan to go into, into one, be careful about it. Now, time to head to the Marlins camp. Yeah, you go there. Uh, right, moves. I wanted to check moves. Oh, looks like you already got it. Oh, Thunder Wave? Fuck that. Marlins all the way over there. Now nah, we still got business to do here. Let's catch some Pokemon. Yeah, 
Gimme, gimme. You do heavy balls roll? Oh. I've been noticed. Oh my god, they are heavy. to go so far. Restoration is appreciated. The piss poor experience is not. Flower? Peppa plant. You don't... Oh my god. Satchel, please. It's a mud ball. Who cares? It's a ball of mud. Hello, Borb. Good to see you there, little buddy. Now we'll use that rare candy. Oh, 
god, the parasite. Not sure why this song is playing, but I like it. Bullshit. Balls. I don't know where they run off to. Yeah, that parasect down there is like level 32. Thought there'd be a Pokemon there. Guess not. with that parasect. Did not get him. Ow. Fucking rude. Yeah, that's what you get. Trying to be fearsome. Oh, I'm taking that back. Yeah. It seems like Paris only chases me when I move. It did. Who's looking at me? Oh! Oh, 
Oh, okay, this is more of a fight. Always with the fucking rollout. Let's get some HP back. There we go. Enough to survive. Okay, got some good EXP from that as well. This supposed to be an alpha but there, yeah there it is there's the big lad okay Paneer, you take that and I guess you also take that wait how do I are all items not a thing Ah. Oh shit. Damn, it just knocks you on your ass if you even try, huh? All right. A critical hit. Oh, that's bad. All right, Baneri. Yeah, you you need a skedaddle. <laughs> oh no. Okay, Dartrix, you also need a skedaddle. <laughs> Good God. Please murder it. Jesus Christ. That's basically my satchel for what? This thing? Okay. This inventory thing is suddenly becoming a problem. I guess we can do that here. I'm running out of Pokeballs, actually. Okay. Very violent. Cooperate. Wow. I even asked.
Ooh. Ooh. Gotta use that. I want me to keep from this. Oh god. Ah, I did more damage than I thought it would. Okay, that worked out. No! Oh, we got gold bad now, do we? Level twenty five. Mm. I think we're going to need Lutzio for this. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. You have hypnosis? Well, so do I. And mine worked. Oh, fuck. Cool. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to use confusion. Off. 
Alright, we're good. Ooh. Oh, I got a ton of the XP from that, though. Oh, yeah, I want this. You still have the same moves, right? Yeah, okay. Nothing's changed here. Nice music in this area. There we go, could use a rest. Just a little while. I think that just heals you up without changing the uh the changing the daytime. Yeah, okay. Oh, new requests? Complete a Cricketot's page. Do I have that? Oh, evidently. Paris. Oh, mushroom cake. One springy mushroom. I think I have that, actually. Yep. space for this? Yeah. I'm going to guess it gets thrown into storage. Yeah, okay. They do. That's good. I feel bad if they were, like, wasted. complete. Togepi? Oh, that's right. We did face one. Figuring out what to... Oh, yeah, maybe I should just go after the main mission now. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, yeah, sure.
Yay! I'm rich. I want to at least take a look at the next area. Those darn bidoof. <laughs> Dang old bidoof. Add a bit of to your team and go to the. Oh. I have to add a bit of to my team. Like, do I have to? grains. I don't think I have any. Nope. No, I do not. Oh, there she is. Spiritome girl. The will of the wisp. Isn't that just a skill? But I mean, I get, yeah, it could be a Pokemon too, I suppose. Quest, what the fuck? Bitter enough. I might have what you need already. Oh, well, I gotta ask someone about it first, so maybe not. a couple of times. I hear something clatter. Hmm. So I guess we check out what's going on in here. Yeah, sounds like there's going to be a battle. Fried berries, though. Isn't that like a Pikachu thing? Or a Pichu thing? Short black hair. I guess it could be a Shinx, too. Draw it back. Whoa.
the fuck is that? What? Okay. This mirror thing is weird to me. You just can't see it. I feel like there's something more to that. Draw it back. Sparks fly, something ran by you. It's a Pichu. I was right. It's a Pichu. I think I remember, like, reading a Pokedex entry about Pichu and how it eats burnt berries. Because, like, it, it cooks them or something. Wow. Oh, Just a little Pichu cooking your berries. Well, so, so much for a fight. <laughs> There was someone we had to ask about berries or some shit. Find Big Weasel. to say. Measuring your compatibility. Is this just like a friendship check then? So, happiness is a thing in this game, too. And this is how you check. Fucking satchel storage, man! Supposed to ask someone, I don't remember who. Oh, that's how you switch. Oh! Okay, let me get that Bidoof then. The barrel, the barrel, the barrel. Bidoof! noises. Alright, so I have another Bidoof with me. Like me. <laughs> huh? 
Two more. The trade merit points? What? Oh. These don't cost regular money, I think. Yeah. I don't have any merit points yet, so that is a system I just don't know about quite yet. Charms, lose through runs, faint less frequently, stay in good health. Interesting. Huh. Stay in good health? Oh, I'm broke, sorry. Oh, look at that. They're, oh, they tell you. That's very kind of them. She big. Neary. Oh, damn, it can learn some it can learn some moves. Shit. No, it's not you, is it? What the fuck do I need for- Oh, that's what the wood is for! Ah! Potato mochi. I see you want to try that. Needs from the medical corps? I don't know where the medical corps is. Help! Oh, is it you? No. Two Pokemon are fighting for two. I mean, this looked really medical, so I was like, this is probably it. It was not it. This is downstairs. Oh, I don't have any greens.
Yeah, I'm not realizing that when Pokemon notice you from really far away, you're supposed to use a lure. I need to get into that habit. Just Zeke. Maybe uh I'm gonna bring up quest list. You can only choose one at a time. Ah, all right, fair enough. Oops. Wait, hold the fuck up, I can teleport on this map? Shit, you can! Wow, that makes this a lot easier. Was it right there? It said the quote. Oh, was it you? Oh, yeah. The revives are appreciated. I will take those. Yes, the revives. Let's see. That's a one point. Oh, do I not have this done? Okay, this is a good system. It's very helpful. Oh, I thought I had a wormhole. I guess I don't. I do. Yep, it's all yours. <laughs> Uticia Beautifred or Bugene? <laughs> yeah. Enjoy your dust talks, buddy.
Driftloom. Oh, it's another one over there. Or is that just the person that gave me the quest? I think it's the person that gave me the quest. Also, we can get rid of that pin that I put there. to find them. Dang old boof. Well, there's one. I think there's only one more now. remaining one oh there it is Simple, simple bastard. Man, they can chew through rocks? Jeez. <laughs> Hurricane was sent to your stash. Why get rewards when I can't even get, quote unquote, actually get them? Catch a dude. I have a dude, dude. I think. Oh fuck! Maybe I don't. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, I need to find where this person is. We're in the middle of the fucking field. Yeah, okay. Not even in a field, in a house. I would never have found this person ever. But I guess that's why this system exists, so, fair enough. It's actually a Pokemon that lives in the primitive- what? Find the Pokemon with three leaves in the Crimson Mirelands and- oh. Huh. Three leaves and it's bitter. Who could that be? What could that be?
storage is so bad. Mm. I'll have to leave it be for now. Alright. Let me see if I can finish one more quest and then I'll probably call it a stream for this game. I honestly don't know if I'm going to have it in me to move on to FF FF13. I am I am tired. I am I am a tired old man. It did it, it be like that. Okay, yeah, let's try. Oops. See if we can find this person. But it's not the same person, is it? Or it could just be the other person in that house. There were two women. Jessica Driftling playing with a child at Prelude Breach, Prelude Breach in the evening. Okay. I'm going the wrong way. Well, anyway. Okay, yeah. That'll be it for this um, stream. I think I'm probably just gonna. Oh, I'm probably just gonna call quits. I am. Like I said, I'm dead tired. I will try to stream FF13 tomorrow. Definitely no promises. Because you, you know how that be. Uh, but yeah, thank you for coming to watch the stream. Hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing. Man, Kirby, man that, that Kirby game, though. And yeah, I will see you again next time. Farewell, everyone.